It is a candidate's market like I have never seen. I had a CEO in the audience. He's like, what is the number one thing that I can do? And I said, well, answer one question for me. Why in the hell should I work for you? And the CEO was like, oh, you saw this look of panic on his face. And I said, that look of panic, that's exactly it. Why should people be working in your company and for your leaders? This is a very, very difficult time. It's a very, very uncertain time. But those are the things that build or reveal your character. This is when you learn, this is when you experience, this is when you grow. Nobody grows when they're comfortable. How much communication do you think is lost in this medium? We've now shifted what the workplace means. It's like every day is almost a new day. I may have a contrarian view, but when you're working remote, it's much more difficult to be engaged without human connection and the proximity. Who doesn't like bumping into somebody in the hallway and catching up? And so that's all gone. And so that has to take away from your level of engagement in the workplace. The number one mistake that every single candidate from an entry level to an executive makes is they don't know themselves. Here's the buyer beware statement. If you've ever gone to the grocery store hungry, those double stuffed Oreos look very nutritional and very, very good for you. And we all know they're not, but that's what happens when you go to the grocery store without a list. When you go to the job market, not knowing what success looks like, if you don't describe it before you go to the market, otherwise you're in the grocery store without a list and everything's gonna look better, isn't necessarily gonna be that way for you.